Hello everyone, Joshua Gillespie here, and it's that time of year again. Welcome to Muppetational Christmas 2014. This is going to be quite the year, as you'll find out. I'm going to review an unaired TV pilot, a new Muppet movie, a rarely seen Christmas special, Sesame Street Christmas specials, more Muppet TV specials, and of course a few surprises along the way. Now, I've decided this year to retire the baby Kermit glasses, and because this is our third year, I feel it's only right for us to move into the third dimension. So now, let's get things started, and to do that, we have to go back. Back, 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 stop. The year is 1962. Jim Henson's first show, Sam and Friends, has been over for a year, and Jim has been doing some commercials for various products such as Wilkins Coffee, but he decides to do a TV show pilot. This is Tales of the Tinker Day. The basic premise of this show is that Kermit is the singing minstrel in the land of Tinker Day, where he narrates the stories of each episode. Our first story is about King Gosh Posh and his daughter, Princess Gwendolinda. Don't you just love these Muppet names? It is the princess's birthday, and everyone in the kingdom has been invited, except for one, Tamanella Grinderfall the Witch. And yes, I do mean, Of course I have a frog in my hair! What of it? That Tamanella. She's upset by this news because she wants to go to the party. Not because she actually wants to go. No, she just wants to steal all the presents. So with help from her ogre named Charlie, they disguise themselves and sneak into the castle. Of course I look like Santa Claus. Ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Now shut up and straighten your antlers. And what follows is just good old-fashioned Muppet silliness. Nobody in the kingdom recognizes it's Tamanella, no matter how horrible the disguise looks. Merry Christmas, Your Majesty! Merry Christmas to you, Santa Claus. Funny I don't remember inviting Santa Claus to the party. And I know I'm saying this early, but I really love this pilot. Kermit acting as the singing minstrel really works because he is a good narrator. Plus, this was a time where Kermit didn't have to be the main star. You know, he could just be in the background and is something that would be carried over with productions like Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. Along with Kermit, every character in this special is enjoyable, especially Tamanella, Charlie, and the King. Santa Claus! I mean Santa Claus! And his trusty reindeer, Tonto! That's Rudolph! Ouch! Oh yeah! What are we gonna do with 67,000 peanut butter sandwiches? The King and the Princess are just dense. That's the best way to describe them. Like I said, they fall for every single disguise and never question anything suspicious. Your daughter? Yes, where is she? Eh, uh, just a minute. You called Father Whoops! Something else I really like about this is it doesn't take up a lot of your time and the pacing is really good, so it doesn't feel like 30 minutes. I know I keep bringing it up, but really the highlight of this entire special is Tamanella and her disguises and just her in general. Jim Henson actually said that at this time he felt Tamanella was the best Muppet character. And I would agree. Honestly, there's really not a dull moment in this special. Something is always happening, and usually it's something funny. Okay, so I've talked about all the things I like about this special, and there's quite a lot to like, but what do I dislike? Honestly, there's only two things. 
One, I wish this could be available on DVD. Right now, the only way to see it is this, I'm gonna say, illegal version on YouTube. And it's available in New York and Los Angeles at the Museum of Television and Radio. I would love to see this in some kind of official way. Also, I just don't think this would have worked as a TV show. I see this more as the precursor to Hey Cinderella and the Frog Prince. A few years later, they would try this again with Land of the Tinker D, and all we have of it is a three minute clip, and it's nothing special. In fact, it's a little boring. But regardless, the original Tales of the Tinker D is something any Muppet fan should check out, or even if you're not so familiar with the Muppets. Certainly a great introduction to everything Jim Henson would go on to do with his life. I highly recommend Tales of the Tinkerty. Next time on Muppetational Christmas, I'm going to switch things up a bit. Thank you for watching. I bid farewell to thee Until the next time I resume My tale of Tinkerty The tale of Tinker